Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Coming up, a great opening Sunday of the NFL season, concluding with one of the better rivalries around. It's the Giants taking on the Cowboys. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we find ourselves right in the center of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in Arlington and AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the New York Giants. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person, big unit against big unit. Meat on me. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche. But we know this. The ground's going to shake. Things are going to rumble. And they're going to have an impact on today's game. Dan Bailey's got it teed up, and here we go now from Arlington at AT&T Stadium. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> and all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. Had another nice season a year ago. His sixth 4,000-yard campaign, but even more importantly, got his Giants back into the playoffs with an 11-5 mark after three straight losing seasons. carry now for Paul Perkins and he'll go down right at the 30 yard line it's a six yard pickup but it gets him to second and four let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine Second down, Perkins. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. This offense has a lot to account for, but at the top of the defense's list is OBJ. I'm not sure how you really game plan for him because no matter what you do, he finds a way to uncover himself downfield. And the speed gets it from his mom, a former sprinter at LSU. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try to pick it up with Perkins. It didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Going to give it to Perkins. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And a look at the defense for the Cowboys. The Cowboys defense is characterized by its cohesiveness. When you look at them position by position, you're not often impressed. But when you play together collectively, as the Cowboys did in 2016, you find a defense that ranked number one against the run and were a tough team to solve for everyone who tried to move the ball against them. Scrimmage and he goes down right there. 
No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Throwing his Manning on third down. It's caught Shepard, and he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A gain of 32 that time. Now, this trio that New York has compiled, Brandon Marshall, Sterling Shepard, and, of course, Odell Beckham Jr., fits right into head coach Ben McAdoo's attack. They led the league in three wide receiver sets in 2016. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Here's Perkins on first down. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Throwing now is Manning. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And down inside the 15 he goes. Manning able to find OBJ there for a Giants first down. Well, that catch just gives us another reason to praise Odell Beckham Jr. Off to an incredible start to his NFL career. Three Pro Bowls, three straight Pro Bowls, obviously, and first Giant to do that in more than 50 years, Charles. And how about the numbers that he's put up also? 1,300 or more yards and 10 or more touchdowns in each of those three seasons. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Into the red zone now, Manning. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. And now some motion before the snap. Man, this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Second down. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. A 10-play drive that time, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown.
Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by Dak Prescott, the 135th pick of the draft back in 2016 from Mississippi State. For a fourth round selection, Dak Prescott looked as comfortable as a rookie quarterback could look right from game one. And by the end of the year, accumulate a lot of statistics, but the biggest one, 13 wins, which tied him with Ben Roethlisberger for the most as a rookie starting quarterback. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott and he stopped immediately there no gain on the play there second down the offensive starters now for the Cowboys the trademark of the Cowboys offense is balance they start with the running game the number two running team in the NFL in 2016 and while the number 23 passing number may give some cause for alarm don't look at it that way. They run the ball so well and so effectively that when they do decide to throw the football, it often results in big plays downfield. Second down, Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jason Witten, the intended target. Third down here. And quickly, the starting 11 now for the New York defense. It's often the moves that don't get a lot of attention that may be the most valuable in the NFL, and Damon Harrison is an example of that. Four years with the New York Jets as a defensive tackle before signing as a free agent with the New York Giants in 2016, and he shored up the Giants' run defense. They became the number three run defense in the league, led by Harrison's attack up front. They have five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Harris now to return. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape. First and 10. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. on the give from Manning. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back.
Manning to throw on second down. Looking for Shepard deep. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. From the gun, it's Manning. And he held on to it too long. A coverage sack, down he goes. Cedric Thornton in there to get him for a loss of three, and it'll be fourth down. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? The fourth-year man from LSU, Brad Wing, to punt it away, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And out now come the Cowboys. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Now a play fake here on first down. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Olivier Vernon. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. They've got to do a better job up front and create some space because they're right there, almost literally on their own goal line. Just a couple of feet away from a safety. That could have been disastrous. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. The inaugural carry for Darren McFadden. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the 10. It's a seven yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. I like what they were thinking on defense. Just guard the first down sticks. Don't let anyone pass that. Didn't matter whether they threw it or ran it. They just ended up rallying to the football in the running play and stopped them short of a first down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. On for his second punt, he'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. <laughs> Great coverage there, holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And it'll be giant football first and ten. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. 
Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The drive starts with a run by Perkins. <laughs> And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Second down following the run. They go with Perkins again. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now Perkins. And some room to run now. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run here with Kareem. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run again with Vereen. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Second down, and he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Cedric Thornton in there to drop it for his second sack now here tonight. 
You know, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. To throw is Manning. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. At the end of one, 7 nothing is our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap. Good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. They right, try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They'll start the drive with Elliott. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Well, that's a pretty familiar sight because Ezekiel Elliott in 2016, his rookie year, had 14 runs of 20 yards or more. That led the NFL. And he said in the offseason he wanted to be better when he got into the second level, so he's shooting high. I like that. I like a guy who wants to get better at his craft. Look out, defenses. Keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now Elliott, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Prescott off the play fake to McFadden. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And the Cowboys will call on Dan Bailey here. This from 36 yards out. And Bailey able to knock it 
through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, if you're averaging a point of drive, you're in the wrong line of work. But in his defense, this has been a stifling defense so far. So they've got to start finding a way to unlock them as this game goes on. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Cowboys' defense, they march back out onto the field. And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. <laughs> I saw you take a running start at that blocking sled. You took it down. <laughs> Bounced off like a rubber band. No, no, not at all, but you're exactly right. They are doing their job, but they want to add takeaways to it. You need to have more of those to go along with the big hits we're seeing. By the way, when I tried that and I bounced back, I noticed that you laughed with everyone else. You, did, you didn't try to get in my corner. No, no, no. Someone had just told me a joke on the other yeah, side. Right, I missed that. Right. Totally missed it. They'll let Perkins carry to start the drive. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? It closed fast. Again, they go to Perkins. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Working from the gun, Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. On play action, now Manning. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first down, Manning. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I'm pretty sure the Giants saw big success for Sterling Shepard coming out of Oklahoma. They could see him in their offense working in the middle of the field and making big catches. Second only to Michael Thomas last year among rookies in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. On the run, it's 
Perkins down to the 30 after a gain of three. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. On second down, here's Manning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his big target, Brandon Marshall, and it's third down. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. On fourth down, off goes Manning. And on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And Rosas puts this one through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a good kick that time, and he's able to redeem himself from the previous miss. And fortunately for him, he got the chance to do that not long after missing the first time. Sometimes a whole game goes by, and you don't get that chance at all. So you keep it with you till the next time you take the field. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Our focus now moving to Des Bryant as he heads back out there. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, just like the ticking time bomb, the longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Scott on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll make it second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. As if he didn't have enough to think about on that route, the comeback route, coming back to the football and catching it, decided to make sure he toe-tapped and kept himself in bounds. And that was spectacular, but on the comeback route, maybe a little easier to deal with the sideline since you, you've got better vision of it? I think that's a great point because you should know exactly where you're going and know how much space you have and make sure you get your feet down. But yeah, coming back to the football, I like it. Good vision. Now he'll let it go deep left sideline. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And they run with Perkins. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Looking to throw on second down. Manning. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Play action here on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And now it's second down. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot him. Manning again here on second and ten. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. They were looking to find space there for Paul Perkins. And that'll make it third down. We see passes like that all the time, don't we? He's back there surveying the field, clock ticking in his head, trying to avoid the sack and the hit. Led him just a little bit too much trying to get out to his running back. The Giants on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. Again, it's Manning. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Illegal touching, offense. Here's Brad Wing now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Taking it about the 16. A big kick there, we'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game, 
because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. First down, a run with McFadden. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big time penetration, and throw people for losses. Just shy of the 45. And five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Complete to Jason Witten. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Tight end Witten and the Cowboys have a first down. The numbers for Dak as a rookie last year are still kind of mind boggling. And you look at QB rating, Dak was 104.9. Now, among full time quarterbacks, only two Super Bowl quarterbacks, Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, were higher. And look who he finished ahead of guys like Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson. Amazing. A 
first down throw for Prescott. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. And now a first down following that long gain. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. But a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Giants' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Manning going to give to Perkins on the draw. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. They'll run it now out of the gun. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. The Giants on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. They'll run. It's Vereen. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready.
Here's Brad Wing now as he's on to punt for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. <laughs> Nifty move. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we send you on over to Orlando, where we'll check in with Larry Ridley. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. So we've got a tie game at half. And you can bet both coaches are in that locker room making adjustments and telling their guys to just keep playing hard like they did in the first half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Midway through the first quarter. Manning on the money here to Sterling Shepard. And it's going to be caught for the touchdown as they take a 7-0 lead. Now first and 10, Vernon's going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Thornton's able to zero in on the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. Cowboys now late in the second. Elliott was able to get away with the stiff arm, and he'll go in from two yards out. The Cowboys tied up at 10. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando for the call of the second half. Let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. They go to Elliott again. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Prescott. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Oh, Prescott stripped. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Oh, 
A first down carry by Elliott. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Dalvin Tomlinson able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do in the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. On play action, it's Manning. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So the offense has it first and 10. give it's Perkins and he's going to get stopped up quickly give him a yard down to the 43 we know that old expression it's not my night it hasn't been his so far I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage but it's been a tough go for him and every time he looks up somebody's there defensively that was the same case on that play On second down, Perkins. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the gun. Manning. And this is caught. First catch by Brandon Marshall. And he's going to get to the 31. Enough for the first down. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. As explosive and dynamic a playmaker as Brandon Marshall's been in his career, 
Can you believe he's never been to the postseason in 11 years? Yeah, 11 years. He's hoping to get there, obviously, with the Giants. One thing's for sure, didn't have to move his locker far when he went from the Jets to the Giants, same facility. You keep the same address as well. Fresh set of downs here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Tanked up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment defense. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. Manning to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Shane Vereen, the intended receiver there. And that'll bring up second down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Giants have taken the lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Rosas to add the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. That time, a nine-play drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants.
Rosas now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. They start on the ground with Elliott. And some room to work. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Three yards to go here on second down. Prescott from the gun. Completes it to Jason Witten. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. vision straight ahead peripheral also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league so to be first down here after the run Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. So this brings up a second and two. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Running again on first with McFadden. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They tried to run it to the short side of the field. There just wasn't a whole lot of room to work with. Yeah, it seems like things just kept getting strung out towards the sideline, and he kept looking for a spot to dive up into the gap. There just wasn't one, so that turned into nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And no gain. On second down, McFadden. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. 
Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and eight. Play action now, Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. B.J. Goodson in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. And the Cowboys will call on Dan Bailey here. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. After the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. on first down and he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line give him a couple on the carry there second and eight yeah that wasn't a big run just a short one there but guess what sometimes you treat it like boxing you throw that jab out there and you throw it again you throw it again then you come with a big punch later maybe they're just trying to set him up and that is gonna do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Manning going to give it to Perkins. Pushes past him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Manning now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. on the give from Manning. 
And three yards there takes him to the 45. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. And still needing 10 yards. Second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. They lost four there, and it's third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and run it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. The Giants on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and 14. From the gun, it's Manning. He's got Lewis, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll get 11, but still a little short, fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 54 yards away. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So another long try for three and another kick that comes up lacking. Yeah, this isn't going to do any wonders for his field goal percentage. But you have to figure as a head coach that when you send a guy out there to try and kick from that distance, it's a 50-50 proposition at best. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on at it second down. 
there's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The Cowboys on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. Throwing. Prescott. And shedding through the tackle. And that's caught by Beasley. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Uh, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. So here we go, first and ten now. To the air again, Prescott. Drops it underneath, Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, Elliott. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is caught at the end. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the five at the four. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. That's on the Pro Bowl guard from Notre Dame, Zach Martin. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Hey, hey, hey. 
Second down, Prescott. His pass caught with the four. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Terrence Williams, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. On first down, Nanu. And that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I'm sorry, but it's almost unfair. I mean, Brandon Marshall can make so many plays, but even when you think he's covered. He's not. No, he's really not. <laughs> he uncovers and makes a play on you and picks up good yardage in doing so. So the offense lining up first and ten. Shotgun now for Manning. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cedric Thornton in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. across the 43 extra yards to the 43. They get six yards back on the run, but still have a third and long situation forthcoming. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Giants on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and 11. Working from the gun, Manning. A dump off to Vereen. And Vereen sure-handed as he is. He lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And now 
Dallas gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They'll try to sweep with Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. There's Prescott. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been terrific so far. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The New York set to take the field. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Manning now on first down. His throw incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down, they hit him with a draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. 
And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Operating from the gun, Manning. He finds Beckham complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. They'll look to throw. A dump off to the flat for Perkins. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Back to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. continues to roll. He's back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. He'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Manning, got to have this one. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Elliott. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And now the Giants, they get the officials' attention and take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back.
This is Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. time and that should just about do it. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.